Hi, thank you for joining me. In this video I'm going to show you the breakdown of the basic components of the X380 quadcopter drone and some of the finer points to know and to look at which is always good to know. Now in a previous I've made a previous video um, on how to take the top shell off and I'll place a link in the description but yes when the top shell comes off the cable is connected to the top shell which needs to be removed carefully never good to pull it by the wires just try and pry it out a bit with your fingernails because if you pull it up by the wires and you pull a little wire loose then it's difficult to get that back okay so if we look at the top shell here and I've also made a separate video on how this is the GPS sensor okay and I've also made a separate video um, on how to remove and replace a GPS sensor and I'll also put a link in the description there but yes the GPS sensor is situated on the top under this copper foil and the copper foil is on here to help prevent interference from the other electronics uh, to improve the reliability um, of your GPS signal okay <coughs> then if we have a, a, a closer look at the quad itself here These, this is the main board and components okay so obviously the first thing you have <coughs> are your motors here okay then the motor is connected onto ESCs in each of the four arms. So this here is your ESC, which is your electronic speed controller. And this you know, regulates the speed of your motors. Okay. So you've got that on each four of the arms. Now one thing to if you need to replace an ESC uh, it has different colored wires <clears throat> so if you can have a look here the ESC is connected onto the uh, main board or power strip with that this connection here you can see there okay and sorry if this is a bit blurry just trying to get it focused and you've got your green wire on this side and your negative black wire there now the green wire indicates that the LED lights on this ESC are green okay because we look at another ESC the, over here <coughs> okay that, so yeah, this one is also green, indicated with a green wire connecting onto the power strip. And then on the opposite side of the quad, we have the red LEDs. And as you can see, it's connected, it's got a red wire. So if you have to replace ESCs, you know, it's good to know that, you know, the color of, of the wire on it corresponds with the color of the LED. You also get blue LEDs. So obviously if you have blue LEDs and you want to replace a blue LED ESC, then the wire would be a blue wire together with a black wire. Now one interesting thing to note and which is quite important with the um, X380 is if you have a look at the motors 
Yeah. Now your front left motor says it's a CCW, which means a counterclockwise, but the motor actually spins clockwise. So this is quite important to know because if you try and put a clockwise motor on to replace it, the thread on the nut is going to be the opposite. Now the reason for this is so that if you put on self-tightening props you have the correct thread because you need a counterclockwise thread for a clockwise self-tightening propeller. Okay, so you know the only difference is it's a counterclockwise motor but the yellow and black wires are actually put on differently okay so a normal clockwise motor would have the y yellow wire would have the yellow wire over on the far end and the black wire in the middle the red wire always goes closest to the end closest to the motor okay so yes when you get a quad you'll see the front left will be a counterclockwise motor but actually turns clockwise front right will be a clockwise motor but actually spins counterclockwise and the same in the opposite on the back so the back right motor uh, will also spin clockwise but is a counterclockwise motor and the back left motor although it says it's a clockwise motor actually spins anti-clockwise okay now also when it comes to putting on the stock props um, onto the shaft if you look very closely at this you can see there's a little ridge at the top and a little ridge at the bottom okay now this is not really noticeable because it's so small and it's actually quite weak and then if you have a look at the uh, motor shaft closely uh, it's probably not too good to see in this light I'll try and tilt it this way yeah if you can see there's a little flat surface over here and a flat surface over there okay so this is not completely uh, square um, and there so when you're putting the props on you want to make sure that where these little um, pieces flat pieces are on the inner side actually go on quite comfortably so don't try and force the prop down because you're just going to um, break this little plastic tab and then the, the motor doesn't lock into position properly okay so be careful putting the motors on as you can see you know this is on quite nicely and quite flush if you try doing it the other way you know it doesn't fit on comfortably and easily and if you press it down you, you'll just you'll get it on but you, you, you'll you'll damage these two little tabs that actually help hold it into position and yes always make sure that you tighten their prop uh, that the the nut on the top very tightly um, afterwards if you aren't using self-locking propellers okay 
Um, then attached to the main board you have your uh, rear LED the, the light on the back and that plugs into there and plugs into here on the main board then over here this plug goes down to the data board <coughs> which feeds the uh, pins and controller and the USB over here so if you damage these any of these ports and you need to replace the data board it, it's underneath the main board and connects on over here now the um, PCB receiver here has two grey wires coming out of it one here and one here and this one here feeds down into the front left leg and this is for your 2.4 gigahertz these are your 2.4 gigahertz antenna cables that connect to your transmitter and the other grey one feeds down into your back right leg okay so that these are the 2.4 gigahertz antennas then in the front right leg over here and this connection here this you have your magnetic uh, compass situated on the base of the front right leg and it connects over here so if you remove the leg this has to be disconnected which you can do without opening the top and then this connects on to the main board here I also have a video and I'll put a link in the description about removing legs and if you need to see that you can see which legs and how to remove them and disconnect uh, the magnetic compass switch on the transmitter first plug in the battery okay now you can see the, the, the front headlights okay and the front headlights just have two small little thin wires which run and they are both connected onto this plug here that goes into the main board there now if you have this open just be very careful um, because the ends of these wires aren't aren't connected very well on, on onto these uh, lights so a good thing to do is to if you've got a, a glue gun is to take some hot glue and just put hot glue around the connections on here to help keep secure that because also very tricky if that pulls loose while you're working on it um, <coughs> sorry excuse me because uh, then it's difficult to solder it back into place and position <coughs> okay so now you, as you can see on the PCB receiver board you've got a red light over here can you see that okay so if there's a problem with connection to your transmitter or this um, PCB receiver board is faulty that red light will not show and blink if now here we have the controller on the connect that comes together with the main board and power board and if you have any issues with the power board uh, this blue light over here 
will not show and will not come on so if that if everything else is connected and this is dead uh, you know that you might have a problem with your main board okay then the ESC's on each of, of, of the arms uh, get power connected directly to the main board so you have a, a red positive and a black negative so these are these here and each arm is the same and so yes I mean I hope this gives you a, if you haven't opened up an X380 before I hope this gives you a better insight um, as to how it looks how the wires uh, are connected and you know the finer things uh, you know nothing worse than placing an ESC and you've got the wrong uh, light on it no, nothing better nothing worse than replacing a motor and you say oh it's a clockwise and you end up putting a clockwise motor on and then you use self uh, tightening props and they don't tighten on properly so these are small little details <coughs> so <coughs> I hope this helps and I'm also giving you a close-up so that you know if you need to make reference um, if you have opened it up and not sure where anything connects that you can see exactly where and how everything connects onto here okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos okay see you later bye bye